In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. Please be seated. We gather this evening to recall those of our members who have gone before us and now share in the everlasting promises given by God to those who have been faithful in this life. We remember each one with reverence as we speak their name with grateful affection. From the Benedictine Sisters of Erie, Sister Catherine Disbro, Sister Jerome Eustace, Sister Mary Bernard Lander, Sister Anne McGreevy, Sister Carol Ann McLaughlin, Sister Mary Daniel Meal, Sister Dorothy Zapinski, Sister Irene Morcall. From the Benedictine Oblates, Mary Beth Kennedy, the Reverend Kenneth Labor, Carl Polio, Ron Wazileski. From the Benedictine monks of Latrobe, Father Luke Felicio. From the Sisters of Divine Providence, Sister Clarice Carlson, Sister Maura Ann Dunn, Sister Maurice Haversky, Sister Audrey Sagan. of Our Lady of Charity of the Good Shepherd, Sister Catherine Gentile, Sister Maria Estrada, Sister Roberta Gargan, Sister Deanna Coleman, from the School Sisters of St. Francis, Sister Geraldine Ann Casper, Sister Constance Frank, Sister Margaret Elaine Rovnik, Sister Rose Ann Rovnik. From the Secular Franciscans Lady Poverty, Patricia Trimble. From Secular Order of Discalled Carmelites, Christina Mitchell. From the Sisters of the Humility of Mary, Sister Mary Cunningham. Sister Julie Demchek. Sister Mary Ann Hauck. From the Sisters of Mercy, Community of New York, Pennsylvania West, Sister Dominica Delio, Sister Paul Marie Westlake, Sister Virginia Baker, Sister Mary Joan Benoit, Sister Consolacion Briones, Sister Elaine Kolesnik. Sister Dorothy Loeb, Sister Susan McVicker, Sister Carrie Toss Quinn, Sister Teresita Williams. From the Associates of the Sisters of Mercy, Mary Lou Broderick, Rebecca Sullivan Cavalier, Bernadine Klaja, Noreen Kren.
from the Sisters of St. Joseph of Northwestern Pennsylvania, Sister Anne Loretta Ehrman, Sister Mary Arlene Menz, Sister Agnes Marie Hughes, Sister Roseanne Fedorko, Sister Mary Joan Bo Sr. From the Associates of the Sisters of St. Joseph, Carl Ballard, Tish Hosek, Ben Montefiore, Agnes Prescaro, Norman Schlosser, Adrian Ward, Elizabeth Zaner. From the Sarah Club of Erie, Mary Ann Tuohy. From the clergy of the Diocese of Erie, Monsignor Daniel Arnold, Father Michael Allison. From the deacons of the diocese, Reverend Mr. David Pratt. And from the Oblates of St. Francis de Sales, Father James Byrne, Father Eugene Kelly. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. <clears throat> Let us pray. Grant perpetual mercy to your departed servants, we pray, O Lord, that the hope and faith they had in you may benefit them for all eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hands of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For in the eyes of men indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings he took them to himself. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord.
reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven say, Write this, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, said the Spirit, let them find rest from their labors, for their works accompany them. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life will lose it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, 
there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. My sisters and brothers in Christ, good evening. And welcome to St. Mark's Chapel for this celebration to remember and pray for our deceased religious associates, oblates, clergy, serens, and probably in a particular way this year, those who have died as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. I really think we should remember them as we offer this Mass for the deceased. I want to especially welcome those who are praying this Mass, this mass, mass with us by live streaming. I'm grateful to all of you present in our chapel. Also, a word of thanks to Sister Nancy Fisher for organizing and arranging this Mass, and also to our musicians to give us the gift of music. Traditionally on All Souls Day, I celebrate this Mass at Gate of Heaven Cemetery, but because of COVID-19, that Mass was canceled, and that enabled us to decide to have the Mass for Deceased Religious Sarans and Clergy here on All Souls Day. Once again, we gather as a local church to pray and remember those women and men who have died this past year. This Mass helps us to stay connected to those who have died and who were a part of our lives. It is a commitment in faith. Many of you remember your loved ones, members of your community, in just the same way. This Mass reflects something that is found in the hearts of all people of faith, that there is so much more to this world than, and our lives than we can see and touch. This reality was articulated well by Pope Francis a few years ago during the commemoration of All Souls Day, when he said, quote, the practice of remembering the dead, caring for their graves, and offering intercessory prayers gives testimony of the certain hope which has taken root in the certainty that death is not the last word. Man is destined to life without limits which has its roots and fulfillment in God. And so this evening, we celebrate as a church what most of us affirm every day in our prayers or in the midst of our daily routine. We affirm the words of Jesus in today's gospel. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. And if we die with him, we will have life with him. This Mass provides us with an opportunity to remember with the Church all the holy souls, all of those dear people who have been woven into our world and our lives, who have passed from this world to the next, and who journey to God. But it also affords us a cherished moment in which we are given the opportunity to put faces and names on those we honor and for whom we pray. This Mass connects all those souls to our lives in a way that is unlike most other days in the church year. 
As such, this mask can, I guess at times, bring sadness to our lives. It is never easy to let go of those whom we love. There is never a right time or reason. And so, because of that reality, it is essential that we see this day the heart and sub substance of our Christian faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Our belief in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus will not necessarily take away the pain that comes from grief, but it does have the power to make sense of why we feel the presence of our loved ones, even in their passing, and why we choose to gather in prayer for them today. It affirms what all of us believe, even if we cannot understand, that through the cross and resurrection of Jesus, death is not the end for the faithful disciple, but the passage to an eternity of peace. And so we celebrate this Mass for the deceased, firmly convinced of God's mercy and love. And may we find hope in the words of Pope Francis, when our faith in Jesus changes us, challenges us to make us to make as our own. All baptized persons here on earth, the souls in purgatory, and all the blessed who are already in paradise make one great family. This communion between earth and heaven is realized especially in the prayers that we offer for one another. Let us go forward on this journey, sustained by the help of sisters and brothers who are taking the same path toward heaven, and also by the help of sisters and brothers who are in heaven and praying to Jesus for us. Let us pray. We gather here this evening and call on our compassionate God as we pray for those with whom we have gratefully shared love and life. Our response is, loving God, hear our prayer. For the church, through the calling to mind those who have died, her members will be renewed in compassion for all who suffer, we pray. Loving God, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Bishop Persico, all bishops, our religious superiors, and all who guide us in faith, may they be filled with a spirit of joy and self-giving, we pray. For the people of the United States, that guided by the Spirit, proper discernment will lead us to choose wise and capable leadership through the casting of votes. We pray. For those suffering from the coronavirus, may they know healing, and may scientists be inspired to find a cure. We pray. For the priests, religious associates, oblates, agrégés, and sarans who continue to serve God's people with love and patience. May they be blessed with perseverance and hope, we pray. For all the priests, religious, oblates, associates, and sarans who have died during this past year, we especially remember those who have served in the Diocese of Erie that they may now know the peace of God's reign. We pray. Loving God, we offer you these prayers through the interest 
intercession of your saints to inspire us to holiness. May we cling to you in our every need. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May God accept the sacrifice of our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all the church. In this sacrifice, O Lord, your Son, though innocent, was slain for us and took away all the sins of the world. Grant, we pray that it may set your servants free from every failing of human condition through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world <clears throat> and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ be saved. Let us pray. May your departed servants and all who sleep in Christ inherit eternal light, we pray, O Lord. For while still in this life, they receive this, your holy sacrament, through Christ our Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. This Mass is ended. Jesus made.